today we will make a free energy generator using the armature we will make uh, rotate the armature in between the magnetic field and connect the uh, carbon brushes to it and drive the electricity through that carbon brushes made out out of, out of uh, copper coil now we will start the experiment see how much voltage it can generate when it rotates in between a magnetic field for that we require the dc motor magnet and two brushes made out of copper coil we have cut according to our requirement next what we will do we will mount this armature over a wooden board so for that we will take a piece of wood and fix it on the board So we will apply a glue according to the requirement. Fix it. Now we will take a knob of the door lock and it will work as a bush to the armature. Next we will apply a glue to the knob. And fix it over the wood. Once it has been done, next we will check whether this armature will rotate freely over this knob or not. Once it has been fixed, next we will take the motor, DC motor and <coughs> we will fix the another knob in between uh, this flywheel of the motor. So for that we will apply the glue inside this knob of the flywheel and fix this armature over this. So we will apply the glue here. applied we will fix the armature over this and mount it according to the necessity See that it is fixed in the center of the knob so that it can move freely. Once it is being fit, once it is been done, next we will fit the screw. the base of the motor friends have pity on me and please subscribe the channel so that your subscription can help me to make and create more such videos for you thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe have a pity on me and please subscribe my channel Once the motor is fixed tightly,
once it is been fixed tightly next we will fix the carbon brushes to the two endings uh, to the commutator of the the armature so we will fix the carbon brushes are made out of the copper coil or the commutator of the armature so before that we will remove the insulation of the endings of the coil so as it will work as a carbon brushes insulation so we'll fix one end to the commutator of the armature and fix the other end to the terminals next we will fix these endings to the commutator of the major and one ending to the terminal of the once it is been done apply the glue to fix this <coughs> once it is in phase fixed next we will take another terminal and remove the insulation and fix it to other part other end of the commutator of the armature so it will work as a it will work as a carbon brushes before that we will remove the insulation of the coil machine is removed properly once it has been done next we will fix the brushes the other end once it has been done apply the glue and fix the brush with the glue
once it is being fixed, now solder the two terminals of the brushes. So once both the terminals are fixed, next both the terminals are fixed to the commutator of the armature, next we will uh, place the round magnet in the base of the armature. Uh, so we will take the round magnet and fix it uh, under the base of the armature. So once it has been fixed uh, under the base of the armature, armature. now once we will give the torque and see whether uh, this armature can produce the EMF or not. For that we will connect the endings of the motor to the terminals. <coughs> Next we will connect the terminals of the motor to the terminals. Once it has been done, next we will connect the forward bias diode to the wand terminal before connecting one terminal we have not connected the diode, now we will connect the forward bias diode. one end of the terminal once it is been fixed now we will connect a filter capacitor so once the filter capacitor is connected now we will connect the another terminal of the motor so once everything is completed see that the brushes are sliding over properly over the commutator So once it has been fixed, now we will give the turb to the armature and see whether EMF will be generated or not.
once all the connection is been done the two carbon brushes made out of copper wire are sliding over the commutator of the armature uh, in order to whatever the emf is generated whenever this coil or armature rotate in between a magnetic field will be removed from will be taken from these two uh, copper brushes made through copper coil which are sliding over this commutator see that these carbon uh, these uh, uh, copper brushes are sliding properly over the brushes once it is been done once it is been done next we will give the torque to the armature and see whether emf is generated or not so we will give a maximum torque to the armature and see whether emf is generated or not so once the torque is given the armature starts to rotate uh, in between uh, these uh, two brushes and thus uh, generating the emf it works over the principle of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction stating that uh, whenever the coiled coil rotates in between a magnetic field emf is generated in the coil thus whatever the emf is generated in the coil we will remove it through the carbon brushes made out of the of the wire and thus emf is generated we will take the extension board and fix the fix it to the terminals so we connect the extension board to the two end of the terminal so once it is been connected we will check whether the emf is generated or not so the glowing of bulb indicates that the emf is generated in the armature which is removed from from this carbon pressure so the commutator helps in removing the electricity and thus the emf is generated is infused by the bulb